I'm back again. Miss Walker? Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. Did you know Anna Varlberg? Oh, why, of <laughs> I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid, no, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy, no. Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. I think I'm going to need your help again. Are you leaving already, Miss Walker? Should we bring down your luggage? No, no, I'm not leaving yet. It's just that... We would love to help, but just think what would happen if the telephone rang, or, or if a fax arrived, or if a customer came through the door. We don't have five minutes rest here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. No biggie. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. Thank you. At your service. Hello, my name is Kate. Of course, of course. I'm gonna go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. No need to go down there. Good morning. Good morning? What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. 
Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. No point. It's locked. I'll come back when the funeral is over. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. No need to go down there. No need to go down there. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. Now, tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. No need to go down there. No need to go down there. That's going to work. It looks like something's missing. Oh, this thing's jammed. I should talk to the notary first. <laughs> 